Hello everybody and welcome to a little look around the exterior and the cockpit of this uh, railcraft to give you an idea of how she is, the kind of condition you think she might be in and if she might be the one for you. Now I do apologise about any wind noise, it is very noisy here today. Now we're just dropping down as you can see, we've got a nice white hull. She does look generally bright and shiny on the outside, a little bit of weed around the waterline but I'm confident that that will all blast off because she hasn't been in the water that long. As you can see down the uh, down the port side deck and on the fore deck, and you'll see on the starboard side deck, we have got uh, the uh, the faux teak there that has been recently applied, I think. And just stepping back, you can see on the coach roof, plenty of uh, clear space there. We do have one solar panel there and um, uh, a steaming lights and a VHF aerial. And there's probably room there for more solar panels if you like. And a couple of good grab rails to make your way along to the fore deck from the cockpit. Big windows, so lots of light getting through there. We've got two opening windows, port and starboard, so air can get in and out as well. And if you look at the fore deck, you can see nice and uh, unobstructed. We've got uh, a cleat in the middle there. We've got a uh, water inlet and we've got a nice pool pit as well there too to uh, help us to grab on in that weather etc. Uh, we do have an anchor on board but that's stowed down below and as you can see we've got the bow roller there too. We have a rubbing strake fitted port and starboard at deck level as well so that should help uh, prevent any uh, major kisses with the pontoons etc. But let's take a little bit of a closer look down aft. We can see we've got uh, the side deck nice and easy to get along to the uh, fore deck from the cockpit but of course you don't have guardrails all the way back so that's why these are so critical. We've got a nice uh, windscreen there to uh, shelter the cockpit occupants from the, uh, the worst of the weather and as you can see we've got uh, a couple of compasses there. I think this one has probably seen better days. I think this one might be okay to be confirmed but looking at the cockpit you can see we've got a nice big bimini frame there with the bimini all folded up nicely so that could be good wind rain or sun protection or even snow etc and uh, beneath that you can see we've got a really lovely great big cockpit very deep nice high side nice high combing so good for fishing and as you can see i think we have a, a fishing uh, a rod holder over there but generally speaking nice and uncluttered and if we just move down aft you can see we've got two small decks we've got uh, somewhere here for a fishing rod to stick onto as well and uh, if i just hop inside look down and around the cockpit from inside so just starting forwards you can see we've got the companionway door quite low but she's quite a small boat so a uh, bit of a duck to get in there but once you get in there you're in no problem at all we've got the helm position here wheel steering electrical switches bilge pump switch around the side there and as on the starboard side as you can see we've got the uh, the throttle here with the neutral warm-up key start and the the kill switch there too so no worries at all now, just uh, carrying on around the cockpit, uh, you can see we've got, again, the, the faux floor. I think this has been bonded down at some point. And I think this boat has had a, a lick of paint all over, to be honest. Now, just looking aft from the forward part of the cockpit, you can see we've got uh, a, a tank here, reasonable size for the size engine that we have on board. We've got a Tahatsu 30 there, which looks in good fettle and starts every time, no problem. We've got uh, cockpit lockers, port and starboard, room for lots of bits and pieces in there, as you can see. And these are the sort of water not i wouldn't say they're ever watertight but they're certainly water resistant and we have another one over this side here and in there we've got the battery we've got the uh, main electrical isolator etc etc and uh if i can do it one-handed there we go and uh, towards the stern of the boat you can see we've got the engine sitting in its well starts nice and easily no problem at all and we've got provision for an auxiliary engine on the back there which i would de de definitely recommend if uh, we only have one engine on board so that's a quick run around the upper deck and the cockpit of this railcraft if you'd like any more information just go to boatshedbrighton.com for lots more pictures videos and virtual reality thanks for watching